Hey everybody, Yuri here, and for today's How Do You Do That, we're going to take a very quick look at groups and channels. Let's go! When using multiple wireless microphones, their frequencies must be coordinated to avoid any problems. One way you can do it is using software like Wireless Workbench. You can add all of your devices into the inventory, use one of the network devices to scan the environment, or you can import a scan using our scan library and then find clean frequencies for every single device that you have. If I have a wireless setup that is all of the same type and of the same frequency band, for example, if I have five receivers and transmitters that are all QLXD in the G50 band, then groups and channels is actually a very effective way to find compatible frequencies very, very quickly without using any software at all. A group is a selection of frequencies in a specific band that have already been pre-calculated to not interfere with each other. And a channel is simply one of those frequencies. So all channels within a group are factory preset to work with each other. This makes coordination super simple. So for my five QLXD devices that I already mentioned before, all of them in the G50 band, as long as I set each one to the same group and each device is on a different channel, that's it. I'm good to go. If four of my QLXD units are in group one, and that last one, the fifth one, is set to group three, for example, there's really no guarantee that that fifth last unit is in a compatible frequency with the other four. That's because each individual group is independently calculated. There's a chance that channel three in group one and maybe channel four in group three could actually be the same exact frequency, which runs the risk of you running two transmitters on the same frequency, which is bad news. If I'm running a wireless system that has the same type of device, but in two different bands, for example, three of my QLXD receivers and transmitters are in G50, and then two other QLXD devices are in H50, then I can no longer use groups and channels. This is because each group is independently calculated for a specific band. So group one in G50 has nothing to do with group one in H50. Similarly, groups and channels are not compatible across different types of devices. So if I have my original system of five channels of QLXD all in the same band, but then I add three channels of PSM 300 in-ears, I can no longer be using groups and channels to coordinate. In other words, group one for the QLXD system has no connection to group one in the PSM 300 system. So in any scenario where you have a wireless system that has the same type of device but different bands or different types of devices, you must absolutely use software like Wireless Workbench to coordinate frequencies across the entire system. In fact, when you're doing a coordination in Wireless Workbench, you're actually creating a group with compatible channels across all of your devices. That's pretty cool, right? So to summarize, if I have a wireless system that is all of the same type of device and they're all in the same frequency band, I can use groups and channels to very, very quickly and very efficiently coordinate for all of my devices. As long as they are all in the same group and each device is on a different channel in that group, I'm set and good to go. Not only that, every Sure wireless receiver has a group scan feature so that you can find the best group to use for all of your devices in any environment. And that's it. If you have any other questions about groups and channels, please leave them in the comments and we will see you next time.